Hey, good day. Hey guys, uh, this will be built into a compilation video, uh, but today I'm breaking in some new gear, some trail loving gear. So those of you guys who follow me, you know I'm a bit of an outdoorsy nut. So rocking out my Cannondale Lefty, the scalpel, uh, full suspension bike tonight. But more importantly, I have something new for you here. I do a lot of trail work and I'm a bit of a chainsaw buff and I've been, been just jonesing for the past year or two to crack the code about portable trail maintenance stuff. And now I've got this sweet little pack that just arrived and uh, right here below me, you guys can see, is the new Dekine Trail Builder Pack that I just had arrive. And between the pack, my chainsaw, bar oil, fuel oil, a little hand cut saw, extra leather gloves, multi-tool wedges, and most, most importantly, my chainsaw chaps. I can't mountain bike with them, so roll them up and have a pack that's big enough. So stay tuned on the rest of the video and I'll show you shots of this pack all filled up. I literally just took it out of the packaging. So pretty excited today. So stay tuned here, stand by. Hello again, gang. Five minutes into my ride, testing out the uh, the new Dekine Builder 40 liter pack, and uh, I was the Mother Nature was kind enough to drop this lovely big tree limb here. Right behind me is the trail. That's my recent cutting. So now we don't have these limbs hanging into the actual single track. And right there's our beautiful Dekine pack with my steel MS-170. It's uh, more of like a lightweight limbing saw. So obviously in my pack, uh, I, I, in the earlier part of the video, I drove in with a saw. I've got my chaps in there, hearing protection, portable hand saw, um, a, sig, a metal SIG bottle of uh, fuel oil and bar oil, and uh, as well as a spare chain. Basically all, a lot of the same stuff that I used to use when I was a US Forest Service wildland firefighter. Uh, the one so far the one thing that I would change in this pack is they gave you one specially lined uh, zip pocket for your bar or your bar oil or fuel oil canister well if you're on the trail and you're gonna be doing anything more than at least one tank full of fuel in your chainsaw you should be going in with two sig bottles one with your bar oil and one with your fuel mix so right now I'm transporting my bar oil in one of the front pockets so as far as the first design change I would make so far by the way real quick the pack is amazing it felt so good on the first couple of miles right in. It didn't move around. There was no weight shift. The waist belt's comfortable. It's great. Uh, like I said, the only thing that would change so far is that I wish there was two specially lined pockets, one on each side of the pack, one for bar oil, one for fuel oil, because if you empty your tanks on a chainsaw, you have to fill both of them up. So you should be going in with two canisters. So, so far that's my only feedback. I still got a lot more riding to do and maybe a little more cutting. So enjoy the rest of the video. Hey gang, so just finished this climb and normally it's a doozy without a pack on. So, and again, this is the, the first time riding with a chainsaw on my back. And this is the, again, the, the, the kind builder 40 liter pack. Uh, I haven't even weighed it yet, but uh, normally I can rip this whole thing with no stopping. And now granted, it's not the pack's fault. It's been raining a lot this week, so this entire climb up because it's so heavily covered in trees and foliage all around me here. Uh, we already cut this one a few weeks ago. Um, it's all the rock that's in the dirt is very slick. So me having to stop and restart was just because I couldn't keep continuous momentum. Yeah, a little bit is the, is the pack weight, but that's not the pack's fault. And there's definitely some slick rock. So again, so far, loving the pack. I'm getting a little weight shift to the left. You can see the scabbard is hanging out of my left side of the pack. If you're looking at the pack, I guess it would be the right side, whatever, but um, I, that might just be riding with a chainsaw. <laughs> so far, again, the pack is super comfortable. Loving it. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. I'll back this up with GPS data too, because I'm rocking my Garmin. So you guys will see my first test ride. I don't know how many miles I'll do. I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm just really, giving us a trial run, so stay tuned.
All right, guys, guys the ride is done. Um, super fun breaking in the Dekine Builder 40 liter pack. Right there, chilling out in the back of my car. Uh, the bike's nice and muddy. Love my Cannondale scalpel lefty. Anyway, guys, um, as you can tell here, I'll come in. I actually used the saw. So per some of the footage I shot earlier, um, probably did, I haven't even looked at the data yet, at least five miles, at least five miles. I just wanted to do a dry run with the pack. I did not ride with a bladder. So the only weight in here, it was at least over 20 pounds. So I got the, ch the chainsaw and I had the metal SIG bottles, the bar oil, uh, fuel mix, uh, which I did run through a full tank that was already full on the chainsaw and I had to refill everything. And, uh, and, and then I had to top it off again out of my SIG bottles. Another reason why you get a pack like this because you can transport your fuel, your oil. I got a spare chain in there. I have my first aid kit in there. I have my chainsaw chaps to keep my legs from getting cut off. Um, I have extra pair of work gloves, extra pair of safety goggles. So really, really prepared today and it was just great being able to just literally take this all in on my back and ride everything. Um, the only opportunities to improve I said it earlier in one of the earlier video clips, um, I would definitely recommend making sure that this pocket, I'll show you here, this pocket is lined with almost like a tarp material, uh, this, you know, for a fuel bottle. But if you are refilling your chainsaw, you actually need two bottles because you need to have one for bar oil and one for your, your fuel mix because if one tank runs dry, the other one runs dry too. So that's the only feedback I have is like, give me a second line pock, po uh, pocket. So then I can have bottles on each side of the pack, which equalizes the weight. Um, the only thing else I noticed was, and maybe it's just the way I was using the straps, but the scabbard of the chainsaw would shift to my left. Um, and again, so for that, I only caught one tree. And that's only because I'm new to it and I wasn't paying attention. And the only time my back of my helmet hit the scabbard was when I first started the ride. But then I knew it was there, so I never hit it again. And I went, I even hit some stunts, so uh, not all the crazy riding I normally do. But again, that's my feedback, guys. Like so far, loving it. And I got to cut open at least uh, one down tree and three more down limbs. So I cleared up at least three or four sections of trail. So uh, pretty happy. So there's my feedback. The kind builder, 40 liter pack. Pretty sweet. Thanks, guys. Keep living the fire of epic life. Keep volunteering. Keep donating your time. Keep loving your trail systems. Later.